Okay, so welcome to your HK1 Android Box uh, video. So first of all, we'll start off. This is your obviously your your dashboard, um, which you're going to open up to once you've actually logged on to, <clears throat> excuse me, your Android Box. And this is this video is going to really be uh, about the apps I've installed and how to use those, as opposed to how to use your overall box. But I will kind of go over that as well. But there's instructions on how to use the box itself, uh, which you can go over and read. But this is a quick start guide for you, so you can just start using your box right away and, and enjoy the apps that I've installed for you. Okay? So uh, to start off, as you notice, as you open up your box, you have two controllers. So I'm going to show you, see if you can see these. I'm, and by the way, I'm holding the camera with one and um, I'm with one hand and I'm using uh, the other hand to do everything else so it's a little off so you get this controller which is the remote that you find with most you know when you buy a, an Android box you get one pretty much like this and it has all the functions that you're going to need to run the box it's just a little slower in some ways <clears throat> and then you have this remote right here which I've actually bought and sold with other boxes because I didn't like the remote so this remote is pretty good it also comes with a um, an air mouse that they call it which you press in the mouse and you can move it around and there's a pointer so it makes it a lot easier to use so I would probably play with both of them and use them both um, and then you may there may be one that you like better than the other so you can lean more towards that but th this one has the the better pointer um, and it works pretty good except in certain um, certain instances and you'll figure that out once you're using it but anyway let me just kind of go over first of all um, when you first, you know, hook up your box and you come over here, um, you're going to come in here, you're going to go to settings because you're going to have to set up your network. So when you go into the settings part, which is on your dashboard in the front, it says network and internet. So what you're going to do is come up to that, click on that, and then um, it's going to have a list of your network. So then you're going to click on the network. You see that's from your house or whatever, <clears throat> and then log on. And then once you log on, it's going to bring you back. Um, to this home screen okay so this is where you know after you log on you know get your box hooked up log on to your network um, you're gonna end up here so we'll just kind of go over this so anyway first of all the first tab right here you see is YouTube which you know I was just playing around with this and it's kind of cool if I come over here uh, let me let me go back here and get to uh, okay so I'm clicking right now you can see on my YouTube so if I click on YouTube this is actually voice activated which is kind of cool so Tab. it'll it'll tell you as you click on it like Main the different things. Row, the Lion King, See, Kingdom it tells Hearts you the different King. rows that you're on. Now, At the top, row, you have all these tabs, row, and there's tab, movies. Tab. And by the way, there's free movies here in the top, and then it goes down. There's a bunch of new things, so you can play around with this. But you also, if you have a YouTube subscription, then you have everything you need right here. You just got to log on to with your prescript you know, your subscription. But there's also a lot of free stuff in here. So you know, if you see, there's a lot of movies that are free with ads. There's a lot of kids stuff down here as well. Top selling pod deals See, I'll tell you. Pro, Maleficent. As you, it, 2014 action and adventure. One hour, 37 minutes. Sell. And so as you can see, it's telling me different things as I click on it, right? Um, and some of these movies you're looking at, this is like preview only. But if you want to look at the preview of a movie, you can preview it here and then go watch it in your um, with your APKs, which are your Android applications, which I'm going to show you in a second. Or you can actually watch it through Kodi, one or the other. So anyway, so that's your YouTube. Like I said, pretty cool YouTube, actually. Um, so let me That's click out of here. Hot deals of home tab. I'm going to click back out of here. This is your home button. So this, when, if ever you get lost and you want to get back to the home page, you press this button in and hold it. It will take you back to the home page. Or if you want to go back one screen, you just press one. And then, of course, these are your buttons over here to go left or right. And then you, when you press on this middle button here, that's going to uh, actually take you uh, to wherever you want to go to, uh, wherever you, 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 you click on. So, um, okay, so I showed you YouTube, so let's go up here. Let's go to My Apps. So if you click on My Apps, this is going to have all your installed apps that I install for you, okay? So you're going to look over here. It's going to have a lot of stuff on here um, that's actually applications, and there's going to be some other things that really you know, aren't really relevant to an app, or I should say they're relevant to the app, but they're more like, this one's how where I downloaded your apps, 
And then uh, this is an actual app. This is some you know files if you want to download something. If you want to import something, that would be that. This file linked here is where I get all your applications from. And then it's File Explorer. So this is a, a culmination of all your different types of applications, okay? So some of these things are actually live apps. Some of them are just going to be um, things that make your... Um, you know your your Android box work like you know here it's got like sort set orientation so that's going to make sure your pictures is the right size and it's got a setup wizard over here settings I wouldn't be too concerned about this one but if you see like one box you know perfect player is a is a video player that's used in watching some movies so is M MV cast mouse toggle is pretty con you know is pretty obvious it's um, you know, for your mouse, it helps you uh, maneuver that around. This is another player. So basically, all your applications go here. So um, you can come in here and play around. But just like I said, you may click on something and say, okay, what is this? It's not really an application that you would use to watch a movie or a TV show um, or a live application. It's just a tool that's used to help run your application, if you will. So it's kind of like you're on a ship. And some of these things are just, uh, you know, or in your car. And, you know, some of the things uh, just help the car run. They're under the hood. And they're things that you don't see uh, or, you know, you don't really have direct access to. But they help everything run together. So anyway, so this is the one. If you look under Recommend, this is where I installed all your actual uh, applications. And these are called APKs, which is an Android application. And there's various forms and shapes of them. And uh, for an example, Cloud TV is actually an IPTV Cloud Tab. This is like an Asian app, um, but it's kind of cool because it, um, it, it, it gets some pretty good stations on here. And you can actually subscribe to this if you want to do a premium. They have a premium trial here. And then all your free channels is right here. So if you click on that, uh, it's going to load up all your free channels. You can look through here. And then over to your left is the menu, and it'll tell you different things. And then what I did was I actually did one in English. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click back this back button. See if I come come out of here for a second. I'm trying to look at this remote while I'm doing this. But if I click back, or excuse me, i got to go down here, go to like language, click on that. And then it's going to have... To my left, it's going to have an option. If I can get out of English, I can click on English. Um, and then it, it'll do some things over there. But what I want to do is I want to click out of here for a second. Because I want to show you guys. Okay, so when I click back over here, I, what I did was, I see there's a favorites file. And this is what I want you to look at. In the favorites file, uh, I loaded a bunch of, uh, of apps in favorites. And uh, I don't know why this is coming out. It should be in English. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I went on market. So click on the favorites tab, <laughs> not on the not on the, uh, the the Chinese Japanese one. So if you look on here, it says my subscription and it says free channel. Go down to the um, come over here. Go to the free channel one. This is where I saved all your apps. So if you look on here, all these apps are on here, and you can access all these for free, and they all work pretty good. Um, the only thing I can tell you is I was watching uh, I was watching something last night, and actually it was buffering a little bit, but um, it usually works pretty well and the picture is really clear. So let's see if I can click on one and I'll show you. And actually this is in Asia. So when you get something during the daytime, the day, see it, it usually comes in pretty good because they're like, like the uh, their time difference is a lot different than ours. So, so anyway, I just wanted to show you this. So, so this works pretty good. It's an IPTV. So um, here's all your apps and like I said, look under favorites. And this one is actually called, uh, see it's asked me if I want to exit. I want to come over here. I come over here with this button here, click on this button here, say yes. So um, that, that was, that's Cloud TV. Okay, so that's a live app. That's a good one. Okay, Tubi TV, uh, I'm not going to, well, I guess I will click on it. This is a, um, a live, or actually a live TV. It's got a bunch of channels on it. It's actually free, uh, but there's a lot of good stuff on here. If you come through here, you can see there's a lot of movies and those kind of things, um, TV shows, all that. So that's one app, and let me click out of here. And then uh, see it has a menu over here where you can go to bl uh, black cinema, action, documentary, whatever your category you want. Now, if I want to get out of here, again, I just press on this home button. It says exit. Any of you want to exit? And I say I press this middle button here and say, yes, I want to exit. Okay, so Sony TV is another one that's like Tubi. Um, as well as this IMDB, it's a movie channel. It's kind of like these. And then there's another one. There's two more, actually. There's one... 
uh, that's called Zumo, which is really good. Uh, and Zumo is in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find Zumo. Here it is, Zumo, and I'll just show you Zumo real quick. Um, and it's, it looks kind of like cable, actually. It's got a bunch of different channels and stuff uh, to it. So uh, you have a lot of options on this. And here's your channel menu here. So you just click over here on something you want to watch. And then you also have your headers up here. It says, um, you know, you have your choice of uh, kids and family, sports, TV, movies, news, those kind of things. Um, and then come down here so I can, I can actually get down here to... Uh, see if I can click on this menu get down here. Like I said, I'm trying to do this while I'm holding it So I just want to kind of give you an idea of the interface But just play around with this and you'll see there's a bunch of different channels uh, and classifications here So I just click on on the news one. So now I've got all my news stations over here So I can actually come down and and click on one of these news stations and watch if I want to watch that particular news show And then it's got a thing down here for if I want to do uh, this is bad news bears that movie But you can come down here do full screen once I click on this it would go full screen. Okay, so um, let me Click out of here because I only get so much time. So it says you sure you want to exit I come over here uh, highlight. Yes and say yes. I want to come out of here. So that's Zumo TV and then um, one of the better now, this is another, Redbox is another live TV app. I'll just show it to you real quick. And uh, these channels that are, that are live, sometimes they work good, sometimes they don't. It's not 100%. And that's why you have, uh, you know, it seems like there's some redundancy as far as the different types of apps. But the reason why I do that and the reason why everybody does it is because um, some of these, some of these, you can say, wow, look at all these channels. And a lot of them work. But a lot of them don't, so you have to find one that works. And uh, when they work, they usually work pretty good, but they have a tendency, I'm going to get down to the ESPN on this one um, and see if this one works. So when you find a good one and see it has links, I can go to link one or link two. But if I click on this one, this is ESPN, and um, you can see that's it's coming in. But it's uh, you probably can't see it as much, but it's it's not a real clear picture, um, so not you know not high definition. So some of these channels won't be high definition. So what you do is just go around, and then it's got some different categories up here. Probably most of these live TV stations aren't going to be in high definition. Just to let you know. Um, okay, so then you got Phoenix TV, and Phoenix TV is. Um, a, me a movie TV show app where, you know, my analogy would be it's like a, uh, a, a DVR. So you have all these TV shows and movies in here you can watch on demand, basically. So uh, I, I can just click on uh, movies and I can go trending movies. I can go popular, whatever I'm looking for. And as you can see, here's some brand new movies that are just out like uh, Lion King, Joker, all these things. Now, what's going to happen is most of these movies... Uh, if they're brand new, they may not have um, they may not have, have high definition links yet. And what I did was I kind of uh, went through here and uh, in my settings I set it so you only get high definition um, because a cam movie is not going to be very good quality. It's basically somebody walked into a movie theater with a you know like this phone like I'm taking a video of this um, or, or a camera and they videotaped the movie, so it's not going to be real high quality. Um, so you're better off waiting till uh, the actual um, better one comes out. But I'm just clicking on Lion King to show you. It's actually right now getting the links for me. And really the best links are really probably going to be CDN uh, fast links. And then the other ones that are, that are really good are usually Google Video. Um, and it's going to be like fast links. So what's going to happen is here all these links will pull up. <clears throat> This one's loading a little slow. Um, a lot of times they load a lot faster. This, but all my links are going to come up here in a second, hopefully. And then I'll just show you. Just click on whatever link. It's going to say 1080, 720. Uh, if there is 780 and, and uh, 720 and, and 1080 links available, if not, then that means that um, there's no links for that movie yet. So um, anyway, I'm going to click out of here just because it's taken a long time to load these links, and they may not have it. So the reason why. See, it's it's saying it can't find any sources, so probably they don't have that movie yet. So this is, um, this one is actually called. Uh, let's go back here. This one was called um, Phoenix TV, right? Um, but I, you can go to another one that's very similar, which would be like Cyberflix, which is one of the better ones. 
And if I click on, on Cyberflix, probably there's going to be a link. And Cyberflix kind of took the place of, you've probably heard of if you've been doing any kind of streaming, Terrarium TV. So, you know, if you look over here, here's all your different uh, TV shows. And then if you look up here, there's a, a drop down menu. So I can come up to this menu and it's highlighted right now. So I click on it. It's going to have uh, all these categories. So it's going to have uh, new shows, premieres, airing today. Then if I'm looking for a particular series, I can actually come over to here and I can click on this and say uh, Chicago PD and it will pull up all the Chicago PD episodes. Um, so save me some time. Um, but if you, if you look at this, if I want to come out of this particular menu, I can just click this back button and then go over to where you see these uh, three lines over here. Click on that and then I can switch down to movies. So I click on movies, then again it's going to pull up all my movies and if I come over here, and these all work pretty much the same even if they're a little bit different, they're pretty much all the same. So I'm going to click on Lion King on this one and uh, sometimes you get these pop-ups that say um, you know press this button or hold it in for a while so you can uh, play it instantly. Uh, so you can try that if you want to. Usually I just click on uh, OK and and I click out of there. Um, but so I'm going to come up here, and if you look up here, there's a, a play button, okay, on this one. So I'm going to come over here to this play button, press this play button in, and then um, it should bring up my links, okay. So right now it's saying video buffering, it's giving me that message again. Um, I'm going to say, got it. Um, and then I'm going to say, you know, I'm not, not going to switch video players right now because I installed basically all the video players that I know work well. But if you got a if you're playing a video and it's not playing very well, then you can go up and you can change your player. So where this button is right here, this is where your player is. So I'll come over here see if I can show you here. Um, so come down here. It's saying choose your default player. So right now the default player is CyberPlay, but I can come down here, which I think is a better player, and either go to MX or VLC. So I'll click on that one, and then it will give me that particular player. All right. So now if I look over here, here's my links. Remember I told you the ten, the, the CDN fast server are good. So here's your 1080 fast server. Now remember when I was trying to watch this on the other application, it didn't have any links, but here I get tons of links. So uh, you're going to have your go-to. Um, you go to players that you like, uh, you go to applications, so you do that. So like I said, you'll see the same movies and the same uh, TV shows on different applications, but you're going to find you're going to like some better, some are going to work better, and um, you just go to the ones you like the best first, and if you can't find it there, then you go to a, another one. But here, it's I have my choice. I can play. I can play with subtitles. I can play with, uh, this is probably going to say play with whatever, uh, you know, uh, it, I have my choice of different players. So uh, I could switch to a different player if I don't like that player. So I'm going to go back here and I, I can play with subtitles. So if I click on subtitles, then I come over here. And what you want to do is you want to line up. If you're watching a 1080 movie, then you want to find uh, subtitles that are 1080. And I'm going to go down here, go to this uh, 1080 uh, 1081 and let let it load and sometimes if the movie's real new then um, you won't get subtitles because uh, nobody's you know uploaded the subtitles yet but okay so this is the Lion King and this is 1080 with subtitles so let's see how it pops up here and by the way there's a button on here if you want to um, if you want to actually uh, change the you know fast forward or slow down or, or go backwards you can use these buttons but you gotta press this middle button I believe first and then it'll pull up down here it'll pull up your player or it should pull up your player see here's your player here and then I can go over here and press this button and it will start playing or I can press this uh, fast forward backwards uh, I could pause it, those kind of things. So anyway, so you can see this movie's pulling up. It's full screen. It's very good quality. I can already tell before I start playing it. But I'll just show you, and then it's going to have subtitles with it. So there's the Lion King, and see, you can see birds chirping, animals calling, so the subtitles are working as well. So there you go. That's, you know, basically your, uh, your TV. Now the difference is between your TV apps and your movies. So here's your movies. Now if I go over here and go to... Uh, if I go over here to TV shows, go up to TV shows, if I can, let's see. Okay, so I'm going up to TV shows. Now the difference is going to be on TV shows, you're going to have the same thing. You're going to have the links uh, to the different uh, TV shows, but what's going to be different 
is going to be, it's going to have uh, seasons. So you can see the rookie now says season uh, 2018. So that, that started in 2018. If it started in 2011, it's going to have all the different seasons. And you can see the season up here. See, it's got two seasons. It shows season one, season two. So I can go to season two, click on that if I want to watch an episode. Now, if you want to binge watch, um, in, it's a new series you want to, a, a new TV show you haven't watched. You can go up there and start from last season or five seasons ago. Watch every episode up to the, the current one. But here you can see up here it has uh, it has uh, season two episode one. So if I want to go to two, I just click over here. I should just be able to click over here. Where am I? Uh, there we go. All right. So I'm going to click over here. Go to season two. See I highlighted it. I click on that. And then what I want to do is pop over here. I'm going to press this button over here and it comes over here, highlights this thing, then it goes here, and then you can see the little arrow right there, right? So I click on that, and then it's going to pull up my links. And again, it's going to ask me, do I want to use this cyber play? I can say yes, or I can go to MX player if I want to, or one of the other players. So right now it's pulling up my links. So this is going to be like your like your movie. See, now the first one I got a 720. 480 is still in 360 and 240. It's still high definition, but it's not going to be very good. So up here I got, and remember I told you that the best ones are um, going to be CDN, but see here, I don't have that choice. So what I'm going to do is go up here, go to 1080, and then I'm going to play it without subtitles this time. So I just press play, and then it says Cyber Player is not installed, which it doesn't have Cyber Player. So um, probably what I want to do is cancel this because if I press cyber player, it's going to say it's not installed. So then I go up here, I pick a player. So my player is going to be, I'm going to click on MX player. Okay. So now I get a player. I can come back over here, play it and it will work. So it's saying your video will start in a minute. And it's the same thing here. You use this control right here. If you want to uh, bring up your, or excuse me, you press this middle button here if you want to pull up your fast forward, all those kind of things. But see, there you go. There's your uh, episode playing, okay? So there's your, so now you know your TV and movie, uh, you know, your TV and movie um, um, applications. Let me come out of here for a second. Your APKs that are TVs and movies. So now I'm going back to my home screen. Like I said, if you press this home button and hold it in, it'll take you back to the home screen. Um, and this is, again, all your applications. So, again, Typhoon is like the one I just showed you. It's a TV and uh, movie, uh, movie app. So is, uh, so is Cinema. So is Phoenix. So is Media Box. Solex is another one that's kind of cool. So Solex is, uh, is actually like all Blu-ray movies. So if I click on Solex, and again, it has a little different interface. So I have to come up here, go to whatever I want to watch, Movie of the Week, Comedy, drama so i'm clicking on drama right and then i come over here and don't ask me why it does this but it doesn't stay within the you know it's supposed to be like a dv you know a blu-ray case it's a little out of it but um, i can come over here and go to uh this movie here and i can either play it with a built-in player or play with again i can pick my own player so if i want to do an mx player i can do that uh, and then it's going to say always or just once. I have my choice. Usually I'll, I'll say just once. Or if I just want to use the same player all the time, I can say use the same one. But um, basically what's going to happen is now this should start playing here. See, this is playing in, at 720. Um, but um, I'll just show you. So that's playing. So there's another movie. Uh, so that's... Let me come out of here. So now if I want to come out of here, i got to click this back button. Okay, so I'm back out of here. And uh, so you get a lot of these ones. Now, another one that's pretty cool is Olay TV. Olay TV has a combination of live apps as well as, and, and one of the things I was going to tell you about Olay TV is sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. When it works, it works really well. Um, but when it doesn't, like it's not working right at the moment. But uh, typically you'll click on it, it'll pop up, and maybe they're working on it right now, but it'll pop up and it'll have all these different uh, applications you can use. Okay, so let me just go to Puffin. This thing right here is your Puffin browser. <clears throat> Another thing you want to keep, um, keep up with, because the Puffin browser is uh, actually your internet browser, and it's a specially made browser, which is very good, actually. Um, but if I come over here, 
I bookmark some things for you so you can see it says my bookmark so if I come over here this is how you watch your live sports guys so um, uh, you're gonna wait a second here it's gonna pull up right here you can see it's got uh, all these games listed okay so it's got uh, which is kind of weird it's showing a, a hockey game on this time of day which is uh, kind of unusual but let's see if this thing's working it's saying uh, Buffalo Stars at, or Buffalo Sabres at Dallas Stars. So what I want to do if I want to watch this hockey game or if it's a football game or a basketball game, I just come over here, put my pointer up to it, and I click uh, click this button here. So I click on it, give it a second, and it should should load up. So I don't know why it's not loading. Okay, there we go. So now it's loading up, guys. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, the application. See, now I turned it into a mouse. So now I can just move this thing around and uh, I can come over here like a mouse. And uh, okay, so anyway, that the reason why it wouldn't pull up was because that game was on. Uh, no, it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, click on this again, see if it will come up. See, now when it comes up, it says open a new browser. What you always, what you want to do is always say no. So I'm going to come over here and say no. Okay, so what's going to happen is now it should pull up. Uh, let's see if it pulls up this thing. It should pull up this uh, the screen. Here we go. It's working now. Okay, see that blue button there? So I'm going to say no. Okay, then what you want to do is come down here, click on this blue button, and then you, when you see those three dots going across, that means it's loading up, okay? So, so this loaded up. So now if I want to watch this full screen, I just come up here with my, uh, and you can see, you can see down the bottom here, I click on that, and that should make it full screen. Is someone that Ralph Kruger keeps getting asked about. His name's Jimmy. I'm VC. getting I'm VC getting two VC screens VC. here well, because that was great because VC. I, I, it, so many players would. I'm getting two pointers here, but um, basically there's and say, okay, there should be a. a um, no, he's ready. He's ready to jump on. There we go. He's See, go. okay, let me I, do I it again. I got to press this button in to get this thing to come up. In fact, let me shut this off for a second. Okay. Here we go. Get some 30, 40 so I come over here, with the puck, and I click on this thing, and then it goes full screen, okay? Really so, the alright, so there you go. Once it gets to the full screen, guys, it works really well. So, just want to show you that. This, this one is, um, so I'm going to click back out of here. This one, this particular application is, uh, I get two of them loaded for you. Let me get out of here. So I'm going to hold this out for a second. Back. Okay, so when, you, when you're when you using the Puffer browser, you're going to get this screen. So don't click this remove or it'll take the link away. What you want to do is when you come here, you can either press this and go back. It will take you to this home screen. Or you can press this home button here and click on that. And then it's going to, you go down here and go across to where it says start page. Go back to the start page. So here I'm watching 720p stream. The other sports one you have is uh, Sports HD. And Sports HD, if you look at it, it has basically, it looks almost the same. Uh, and it works basically the same way. You just come over here. If I want to watch a, uh, if I want to watch a, uh, a movie or whatever, or excuse me, not a movie. If I want to watch a, a baseball game or a hockey game, then first of all, I can come over up here and go to, let's see, right now there's no... Uh, there's no baseball on, but I'll just click on this baseball one and show you this uh, up here. I'll click on this. It should work, and it should go to uh, my baseball games if there's a baseball game going on. Okay, wait a minute. So this is pulling up. Uh, this was the hockey game, I believe. So I can come over here, click on this white button. It's saying reconnect. It's not on right now. That's why it's coming up red. Usually it will go blue, and you saw the three dots go across. Um, the reason why it's doing this is it's either that it's a nationally televised game and they're not showing it on here, or it's not on yet. But because usually what will happen is it'll say watch now, um, and then also it will show you what time that game is coming on. So if I can get back here, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you where it shows the the times and all that. So let me go back here. Okay, so down here you can see it says live the Dallas Stars. Uh, and the Buffalo Sabres. So that game is on right now. These two games aren't on yet, so they're not showing up. And then it's always going to be like in military time. So you can see the military time on here. 
So anyway, you just click on that and then you can watch your live sports. Okay, so those two applications work pretty much the same. They look almost the same uh, and they work really well for uh, for watching live sports. So I'm going to click on now I'm going to go back to the home screen. So I'm going to hold this button in. I'm back here at my home screen. And then again, I said the recommended. Now, this is a file explorer. This is going to be if you want to uh, add something from your from an SD card, you know, a USB flash drive. If you want to put a movie in, you can you can put it on the back of the the box, and um, this is where you would access it from. So this is File Explorer, okay? So and again, read your um, user manual for your actual box itself. And this is just showing a list of all the applications that are installed here. So I'm going to go back here again to the here, and then um, I'm going to come up here. You got a Google Play Store? It's not going to work right now because um, I don't. I'm not signed in. But if I sign in, then I'm going to have access to Google Play, and also you have access to your Google Mail here. Okay, so you can use that. Here's your Google Play Store. Here's your Chrome uh, browser. So you actually have uh, two different browsers you can use, and you can see down here it's got all your different options, ESPN, Yahoo, eBay, um, or you can do a search up here. You can put your, um, you can actually do your um, your email from here as well, okay? So just show you that. And there's actually email, I believe, uh, there's email from your Puffin browser. So if you go to your Puffin browser, let me go back to the home screen on this one, and click down here. And uh, if I go back to this Puffin browser and I come over the side here, there should be a, uh, see here, there's a Google down here, right? So I can go to here and I still get, I get my Google, um, Google search and all that. And it's got a thing up here for my Gmail so I can access. This is your browser for, works really well for Android TV, okay? So you get a couple different ways you can access. And then another thing is you get, this is Google Voice, this actual, um, uh, remote has Google Voice, so I can press this in and uh, and, and say uh, what's the weather like in Dallas today, and it should um, pull up and tell me what the weather is. We'll see. So kind of like your um, you know on your Fire Sticks where you have voice activated. This is voice activated to a certain extent as well. Not as not as much so as um, as the Amazon one, but it still works pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to come out of here now. Go back home. And uh, see, this settings button, you don't really want to be too concerned with. But again, as you're coming in here. Then another thing is under apps, if you click on this, if you want to delete an app, uh, an old app or whatever, or you install a new one, this is where it will come up. And so this one, I'm just going to show you this where it gives me an option to st force stop it. So if Cody gets jammed up, you can come on over to here and do a force stop on Cody. And then this is your uh, button if you want to actually un uninstall it. Oh, crap, I did that by accident. Okay, so the good news is uh, it said uh, cancel, and I can so I can cancel before I uninstall it. So you got to be careful. You can do that pretty easily. Okay, I'm going to go back to uh, my homepage just once more, and I want to show you Cody. So uh, down here is like all your recent apps um, and you can like your favorites you can put them down here if you want to and then you can just have easy access to them but I want to show you Cody because Cody is a big thing that everybody um, gets hyped up about and, and likes so I just want to show you Cody real quick and again there's a, a so what's what's loaded on your Cody is uh, this is actually Cody um, 19 which is actually alpha it's it's actually in 